One of the most common things that not just men need to look out, out for, but women need to look out for right now, these days as well, is getting excess estrogen from your foods. Now, the human body needs estrogen to function properly, that's true. However, these days, a lot of our foods and things that we come into contact with on a daily basis actually have estrogen in them or they exert an estrogenic effect on the human body. And everyone gets into, whether it's a male or a female, gets into a state known as estrogen dominance, where you can start to really have some bad symptoms of hormonal imbalance. And on a basic level, estrogen dominance is characterized by uh, gaining a lot of weight, you know, having that excess weight or bloating that you just can't seem to get rid of. Uh, but at another level, it also is very bad for your thyroid health, which ends up slowing down your metabolism, which all plays into that. And then it also can have wide reaching effects into reproductive health. So what you wanna do is be able to rebalance your estrogen levels naturally by lowering them naturally, but the first step to doing that is to actually figuring out what you're coming into contact with uh, on a regular basis that contains this extra estrogen. And it kind of stinks, but these days there are a lot of foods, five in particular that I'm gonna talk about today, that have a lot of excess estrogen in them that you should be aware of so you can actively control your level of estrogen in your body. Now the first food that is very, very common that has a lot of excess estrogen is actually just factory farmed meats. And there's a really good reason why you'd want to go and get organic grass fed meat because it doesn't contain and it hasn't been treated with the extra estrogens that the factory farm meats have been treated with. Now, for example, cows are actually pumped full of extra estrogen throughout the process when they're, they're uh, you know, farmed and grown because that estrogen helps them get bigger and retain more weight, uh, which as we all know, meat is sold per, by the pound. So you, when the farmer can sell more, more uh, pounds of meat, they can make more money off of it. Now on the health effects of that though, the health effects can be really bad when it gets to the point where you as the consumer are eating this low quality meat or these low quality dairy products uh, where you're actually getting that estrogen into your body. And dairy on the other hand too, uh, dairy cows are treated with extra estrogen just to keep them lactating, to, to make sure that they can continue to produce milk for as long as possible because again, it's an industry and it's seen as very profitable when they do that sort of thing. But the consumer experiences the negative health effects. All right, next up on the list is actually one that not many people know about, but a lot of people eat daily because they think it's healthy for them. It's actually flax seeds. Now flax seeds are very high in compounds called lignans. And lignans are actually found to be so estrogenic that researchers use them specifically to try to lower T levels and lower other reproductive hormone levels in the human body. Now the thing is a lot of people, men and women, use flax seeds on a daily basis because in the past the mainstream media has promoted how healthy they are for you but those are exerting a constant estrogenic effect on the body. All right, third on the list, and this is probably the most common one that people know is estrogenic, and it's starting to become more widespread knowledge, but this is a health food that was touted to us years ago as well as being one of the healthiest foods on the planet by the actual industry itself, the soy industry. And now soy, it's very difficult to find any sort of packaged food that doesn't have soy in it or some soy byproduct in it. But soy itself contains a lot of a compound known as isoflavone, which is a xenoestrogen. It promotes an estrogenic influence on the human body. So you want to definitely cut down on your soy intake. The thing too, a lot of soy these days is farmed in a very commercial factory setting. It's used, they use a lot of pesticides on it and herbicides. And you're also getting those pesticides and herbicides when you consume modern soy. Now, fifth on the list is something that almost nobody knows about, but this one thing is, also, is not only estrogenic, but it's also anti-thyroid, which is known as goitrogenic. So this packs a double whammy. Now, it's, it's beans and legumes. I actually stopped eating beans about a year ago and since then I've felt very, very good. I didn't even know about this until about a year ago until I was looking through the research and found that researchers were finding the estrogenic and goitrogenic influence of beans to be quite powerful, especially when people eat the beans every single day or the legumes every single day. 
So you wanna be sure that you're able to cut back on your consumption of, of uh, legumes along with the four other elements on this list in order to lower the estrogen dominance and decrease your exposure to excess estrogens. Now again, I'm here to spread this information. If you have any friends or family that need to know this information, just share it with them, like it, tag them in a comment, and I will see you on the next video.